and welcome. I'm Michelle Tiefetiller. Today we are talking about First Start Reading, a program designed to teach children the foundational skill of phonics. There is a lot to cover, so we've broken this lesson into two parts, so be sure to check out the second video that covers teaching First Start Reading lessons. In this video, we are going to give a comprehensive look at how the program works on a foundational level and how to prepare your class for lessons each day. A practical language arts program begins with phonics, reading, writing, and spelling. These basic skills are fundamental to a classical education or any education, so it is important to do these well in the early years since future student success hinges upon them. First Start Reading incorporates all of these components into its lessons. It is the Memoria Press program used to teach beginning phonics and reading, writing, and spelling, starting at the kindergarten level. While the goal of First Start Reading, or FSR as we call it, is to teach reading, reading is attained by first teaching phonics. Just as math, science, and Latin instruction teach us parts to the whole, so does phonics to reading. Yes, you may have a natural reader who seems to pick up reading and advances quickly with seemingly little instruction, or you may have an older student who has struggled to take off in reading. Both of these cases need phonics. Everyone needs phonics. Phonics can empower the struggling reader by providing the tools needed for decoding. Natural readers also need phonics because at some point they will encounter a multisyllabic word they've never seen before or they will need to spell words. Phonics will help with both. First Start Reading is a traditional program based on the Orton-Gillingham Path of Phonics instruction. The FSR program includes five student consumables and two teacher guides. Student books A, B, C, and D, along with the coordinating teacher guide, are used at the kindergarten level, while student book E and its teacher guide are used at the beginning of first grade. Classical phonics and the phonics flashcards are used in conjunction with the lessons, and the American Language Series phonetic readers Fun in the Sun, Scamp and Tramp, and Soft and White are also scheduled to provide additional phonetic reading practice. Core Skills Phonics Levels K and 1 are both scheduled at the kindergarten level as independent practice for skills initially taught in FSR. Though the core skills books are not essential, you will definitely need classical phonics and phonics flashcards. First Start Reading books A through C cover the alphabet using only short sounds of the vowels since those are the hardest to master. We start with the liquid consonants first, such as M, L, S, those letters that can be held indefinitely, M, mm, O, S. Then we move to the stop consonants, such as T, B, D, P. As a letter is introduced, word families are built. So students begin blending and reading words and sentences from lesson two when they blend the letter A with M to make am. Add the common word I and we have the sentence I am. In lesson three, the letter S is added and we blend that S to am and have Sam. Suddenly we can read I am Sam. Our word family is am Sam. With FSR, around 70 common words are taught. These are the words that either break the phonetic rules or contain phonics that are too advanced to decode at this level. So these words must be memorized. We keep this common word list to a minimum. We spend about 26 weeks on books A through C to ensure these short vowels and consonant sounds are solid. Then in the last nine weeks of kindergarten, we learn long vowels with magic E and practice transitioning between them and short vowels as well as introduce consonant blends and the H teams. This covers the first four student books and the kindergarten portion of the program. In the next part, First Start Reading Book E covers vowel teams, soft C and G, and the three sounds of Y. This completes the First Start Reading program, so from this point in first grade, phonics is split into phonics for reading and phonics for spelling. The details for this instruction are explained in the first grade curriculum manual. We'll talk about those in another video. Now that we know the importance of instruction in phonics and have a basic overview of the First Start Reading program, let's look at the FSR teacher guide and talk about how to teach a lesson. And teaching a lesson is very easy. In preparation to teach the lessons, start by looking at the appendix of the teacher guide. Located here are templates of phonics charts these should be colored and posted in the room where your student can reference them throughout the lessons. 
At the front of the teacher guide, you can find a brief phonics overview as well as tips for teaching the lessons. Also included are instructions for penmanship. Correct, legible penmanship is critical. So whenever we write, we go through the three P's checklist. Those are posture, paper position, and pencil grip. Whenever a student picks up a pencil to write, we need to remind him to check those three P's. Before you start an FSR lesson, you will want to get organized. Look at the curriculum manual to see what phonics flashcards will be needed for the lesson. You will need the card for the new letter, blend, or team being introduced, but there may be some common words introduced also. You will need to pull those common word flashcards as well. I would be sure to have a clean whiteboard and a lined chart ready. The lined chart can be purchased at any parent-teacher store and should have very wide lines for instruction and modeling letter formation. So be sure your chart has a dotted midline. Begin every, I can't stress this enough, begin every phonics session with oral recitation of the alphabet. Not singing the alphabet song. I love the alphabet song. But during phonics recitation, we need to say the letters and come away from the tendency of autopilot calling of letters. During recitation, insist on students saying the name of each letter of the alphabet as you point to them on the alphabet line. Vary your pacing to maintain focus. Now go through the alphabet again, this time having the students give the sound only. For this second time through, only point to the letters you covered in the FSR lesson so far. Since this is cumulative, early review will be shorter. There are some additional phonetic questions to cover in this phonics recitation as well. They are listed in the FSR teacher guide and should be completed after the alphabet portion of recitation. Next is flashcard review. Go through the letter flashcards that have been taught to date. As with recitation, go through the cards twice, once to identify the name of the letter, then a second time to give the sound it makes. This activity is also cumulative. Now go through all the common word flashcards that have been introduced thus far. After this, you are finished with the pre-teaching review of the alphabet line and the flashcards. And now you are ready to teach the lesson. Thank you for joining us for today's teaching guidelines. Be sure to check out part two of our First Start Reading series to pick up where we left off today. If you found it helpful, be sure to check out our teaching guidelines playlist that includes further resources on curriculum from Memoria Press. As always, subscribe for more videos like these, comment below to let us know what you'd like to see in the future, and click the bell icon to know when we post new content to this channel. I'm Michelle T. Fatiller. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time.